This video was produced by Cornell Cooperative Extension. The information was adapted from the presentation by Lindsay Perlito and Betsy Hicks during the webinar Understanding and Mitigating Lameness. In this presentation, we'll discuss how to identify lame cows and a few of the most common causes of lameness in dairy cattle. With efficient identification and treatment of lame cows, we can greatly improve their well-being. There are behavioral cues you can observe to identify cows that are lame or becoming lame. Watch cows while they are walking to see these changes in behavior. Head bob. She lifts or drops her head to help her move forward. Tracking up. A healthy cow should plant her hind foot in or near the hoof print left by her front foot. A lame cow may shorten her stride and therefore not track normally. Willingness to walk. Lame cows are sore and will need more encouragement to move. Back arch. A sound cow will stand and walk with a flat back, but when lame cows stand and or walk with an arched back. Limp. If a cow has a sore leg or foot, she will try to keep weight off of the limb as long as possible, and she will limp when she's walking. Look at all of these behaviors together to decide if a cow is lame or not. Lameness is regularly described as a five-point scale. One, the cow is sound and can move freely and fluidly. Two, the cow is slightly stiff but still moves freely. Three, the cow is moderately lame, has an arched back when walking, and is limping on the affected limb. Four, the cow is severely lame. Her ability to move freely is drastically diminished. Her back is arched when standing and walking, and she avoids putting much weight on the affected limb. Five, the cow is extremely lame. She cannot move freely and needs to be encouraged to move. Her back is severely arched and she is unable to put weight on the affected limb. As you can see, these scores consider the behavioral factors previously discussed. Most dairy farms are required to have regular animal care evaluations under the National FARM Animal Care Program. This program takes the five-point scale and condenses it to a three-point scale, where one is sound, two is moderately lame, and three is severely lame. The target for the program is to have 95% or more of the lactating cows scoring a one or two. When we talk about lameness, it's important to know what is causing the lameness. There are two main categories to consider, claw lesions and infectious disorders of the surrounding tissues. Claw lesions include sole ulcers, which can occur secondary to inflammation of the tissues within the hoof, resulting in damage to the underlying sole. White line disease, which occurs when there is a separation or a lesion along the white line region of the hoof. And traumatic sole lesions, caused by injuries from the cow stepping on foreign objects such as rocks, nails, etc. These types of lameness can be painful and need to be treated immediately. They generally require that the hoof is lifted and trimmed to discover the real problem. The other main types of lameness are infectious disorders. This includes foot rot, which is a very painful infection of the tissues surrounding the hoof. There is normally a lot of swelling between the claws, and treatment generally requires systemic antibiotics. Deep digital sepsis. This is when the cow has an infection which has moved up her leg into deeper tissues or joints. It causes pain and swelling and is difficult to cure. Digital dermatitis. This is a contagious infection caused by hairy or also called hairy heel warts or strawberry heel. The use of a foot bath is the best prevention for digital dermatitis, which is a very common lameness issue on dairy farms. All three of these infectious conditions are very painful and require treatment. So in conclusion, recognize behavioral changes in cows to identify lame cows early. Use a lameness scale to classify her as lame or sound. Different types of lameness include claw disorders and infectious disorders of the surrounding tissues. And finally, it's important to know what the cause of lameness is since different types of lameness require different treatments and prevention.